Ankle replacement is one of the treatment options that's available for ankle arthritis. The most common forms of arthritis that we see um, in the ankle is post-traumatic arthritis or arthritis that's secondary to chronic instability at the ankle. Because ankle arthritis tends to be post-traumatic in nature, we see a lot of patients earlier and younger. And so it's not uncommon to see you know, a 30-year-old with end-stage ankle arthritis 15 or 20 years after a fracture. Frequently patients complain of, you know, my ankle hurts all the time when I'm walking, but if I try and go up and down stairs or if I'm on any type of incline where the ankle has to respond to some differences in terrain, it gets really difficult. I think most of it is you know, patients that I used to be walking 10,000 steps a day and now I'm only getting three or 5,000 steps because my ankle just hurts so much that I, I don't want to walk anymore. The first way that we evaluate somebody who's coming in with ankle pain or um, you know, presumed ankle arthritis is a good you know, history and physical exam. As I mentioned, the majority of ankle arthritis is secondary to trauma or instability. So trying to look for some of the causes that we routinely see as um, leading reasons to develop arthritis is important. Um, and then radiographs are probably the hallmark initial evaluation for looking. Um, looking and evaluating the joint, evaluating the joint space, evaluating for deformity. When is a patient ready to have a total ankle replacement? And usually in the conversation that I tend to have with patients in clinic is you're gonna tell me when it's time for us to do something different. There are definitely conservative ways that we can manage ankle arthritis, activity modification, anti-inflammatories, bracing, whether that be um, over-the-counter bracing or trying a custom kind of prescription brace, injections, you know, things that help manage symptoms and hopefully continue to keep you active. Uh, but are short of surgical inter intervention. When you get to the point where those are no longer effective or you're not able to do things you want to do and they still limit you, then I think it's a good time to say, okay, is it, is it worth considering surgery and would surgery improve my symptoms and, and give me a better outcome than what I'm dealing with right now?